pub. So my name's Scott Martin, and I'm absolutely not for the CSIRO, okay? So it was advertised to CSIRO. Why am I not from the CSIRO tonight? Because I'm talking about zombies. And I've fallen into this trap before, as you will find out. Also, 30% of you are going to be very disturbed by this talk. Who, who are you? You'll find out later. So this story does start with the CSRO. It starts 10 years ago when I was the site leader for this amazing CSRO site. Much physics is done here. And uh, one of the responsibilities of the site leader in very exciting stuff is emergency planning. And so it was my, my uh, responsibility to think about things like earthquake, armed incursion, all that sort of stuff. You work out what you're going to do in those, those emergencies. You write it up in this amazing thing called the Site Emergency Management Plan. Whoa. Yeah, it's good. I'm thinking of... And this is the problem. The biggest problem with emergency planning is no bastard reads the emergency plan. <laughs> so what are we going to do about it? It's a big problem. Well, we decided to spice it up a little bit. And so, apart from an earthquake and armed incursion and all that, we, we spotted in zombie invasion. Hooray! <laughs> and it had exactly the effect we hoped it would. People were clicking through just to see what we're going to do in a zombie invasion. And so it was fun, and it got the job done. So we were really, really happy with that. Until something unexpected happened. CSIRO then decided they're going to do some site upgrades, and when you do site upgrades, they have to go through the government to be, to be approved. It goes through what they call another thrilling topic for tonight, the Parliamentary Works Committee. <laughs> so they assign some parliamentarians who look at the plans and decide whether that's a good way of spending your dollars. <laughs> So, we sent the plans off, the documents, the environmental impact statements, all that sort of stuff. They said, that's fine, send through some information about the site, send through the set. Off goes the set. So, the way this works, as you can see, we've got the parliamentarians on that side, we've got us, CSRO, on this side. They send a crew out, they mic the whole thing up, they record every single word that's said, and then they go away and they transcribe it and put it in Hansard the parliamentary record for posterity. So we're two weeks out from the hearing, and I get a, call, a guy calls me up and he says, um, you stop yet? Well, can I ask you about the zombies? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, and I told him, he goes, yeah, that's, that's fine, yeah, good, we got that. It's just that this is an official document, and we're wondering whether it could be interpreted as being a bit of an official statement on CSIRO's believing that in the existence of zombies. <laughs> and you might get asked about this, and so, you yeah, prepare some answers. <laughs> so here I am, like midway through my career, and the next, in the next couple of weeks, I am going to be sitting on this panel against some parliamentarians, and inadvertently, from a bit of fun, I'm now possibly going to be asked a question about a zombie, <laughs> And I'm going to be the CSR representative who goes on Hansard about what zombies are. And so this is a near-death experience for me. And I thought, shit, this was my Martian moment. And just like Matt Damon, I thought, I'm going to have to science the shit out of this. We must run. Fear Cordyceps unilateralis is the actual real inspiration for the, the, uh, the, the last of us. It is actually a, uh, a fungus that infects ants. It makes the ants climb to the top of the tree or whatever they're on. Um, you get these horrible fungus shits sprouting out their body. Um, it, it kills them and then the spores spread uh, on the air currents. Witness number two for the defense is Leucochloridium paradoxum. Um, this is one mean bastard of the animal kingdom. I mean, this is horrendous. It gets into the, into the snail, it uh, infects uh, the uh, eye stalks and makes that pulsating stuff going on. 
Once again, it controls the brain of the snail. It climbs up to the top of the plant, gets eaten by a bird. Bird poops it out, little, little wormlets all over the place. Really nasty. So this is another example of zombie behavior in nature. So this, this is witness number two. Uh, interesting uh, uh, story, an uh, interesting fact about snails. Um, aerodynamically, you would expect that if you took, the, took the, the, the shells off, they'd go faster. Turns out, turns out they just get more sluggish. <laughs> Witness number three for the defense. This one is going to start getting 30% uh, getting of you a bit rather. Uh, this is Toxoplasma gondii, uh, and in the US, there are 40 million people, people who are actually infected with this. Um, for most people, they don't know, but for some people, it causes seizures, blurry vision, um, uh, poor thinking. I could mention too. Alcohol! Um, and so it's, it's, it's out there, right? Um, recently, though, they published more re um, research uh, that shows that individuals who are infected with this find other individuals who are infected with this more sexually attractive. And they've done it with rats as well. So it must be true. Now you're thinking, how many people in Australia have got this? 30%. Quick poll, how many of you have got cats? That's 30%. That's 30%. It's not a coincidence because this, this nasty bastard is, cut, is, is uh, spread by cat poo. So some of you are, are cat poo zombies. <laughs> the final line of defense is this. It's, a, it's an actual real publication by the Centers for Disease Control in the US. It's a graphic novel published in 2011 and it's called Preparedness 101 Zombie, Zombie Pandemic. So the CDC published this with the motivation to use zombies in order to get across communication of a very, very important message of being prepared. So there we are. This is the defense I was looking for. All I was doing was world's best practice. <laughs> Woo! I'm out of jail. So now you're wondering, how did I go in that, in that hearing? Well, this is where it gets really weird, because this is what happened. <laughs> On the day, Barnaby Joyce was one of the parliamentarians who came and heard us, and he, he laid into us like they should do. That's good. That's good. He answered the question, asked the question about science. I answered it. There I am in, um, in Hansard. Thankfully, though, no mention of zombies. So this story has a happy ending. <laughs> now, it would be very, very inappropriate for me to conclude a, a talk on zombie invasion on this slide. <laughs> so that's me. I'm sorry, 30% of you are cat shit, bat crazy, cat lovers. Thank you.